pretty good. It's, it's, it's thick. I like it thick. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we have limited resources because of social distancing. Um, this this might may or may not be what happens in the near future, but for today, we are making something with beer. Welcome back to Cook the Quarantine. Um, I am quickly running out of bread. What am I gonna do? I wanna make some bread. Do I have any yeast? Story time. I was watching Instagram Live yesterday and Sorted Foods, if you haven't seen them, they're pretty awesome. Anyway, not the point. Um, <clears throat> I was watching their Instagram Live and they challenged the next group of guys to do beer bread on the next Instagram Live. So I hadn't even thought about making beer bread since I was a kid. And I was like, well, that's a good idea. So here we are. It's really easy and you don't need yeast. Um, this recipe I'm using is from iambaker.net. Uh, I'll link it below. But you first wanna start out with three cups of all-purpose flour. Um, and to that, you want to add one tablespoon of baking powder. If you have self-rising flour, you don't have to add baking powder. Uh, two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of sugar. You got a stick, a half a stick of unsalted butter here. Then a 12 ounce beer at room temperature. So, you know, a whole beer. Canned beer, whatever kind of beer you want. Ooh, I probably shouldn't shake that before I open it. That might be a bad idea. First, first, first. Preheat your oven to 375. Because you can't bake bread in a cold oven. I'm just going to spray my pan here with some cooking spray. Generously. Set to the side. So, your pan is ready here. You're going to take your flour, add your baking powder, add your salt, and your sugar. Just going to mix that up real quick. Grab our beer. And we're going to pour that right in. Oh, no! No! That's the important part. Well. <laughs> that tastes like flour. Why am I stupid? <sighs> that was so dumb. Okay, this is looking. Look at this 12 ounce beer, right? Right? Put three cups of flour. Hold on a second. This is looking pretty runny. Hold on. Alright, that's what I have. Okay, so watch this video. Beer. Should I have let it sit? Did I read your name wrong? Oh, it says pour the beer and stir all the ingredients until just combined. There are no dry parts. Batter will be thick. Oh. Okay, we're gonna add more flour until it looks like until it looks like ours. That's just what we're gonna do. Um, I added about a cup and a half of flour to this. It, I don't think it actually changed the texture of it at the, in the end. I mean, it was still pretty good bread. But um, I just wanted to make sure that my dough looked like the dough in the video. And then I just spread it out into my, my prepared loaf pan after that. Okay, so now we're going to take our butter. And we're going to cut it. We're going to place it all over the top of the loaf here. There we go. 
All right, and now as soon as our oven is preheated to 375, we will put it in the oven and we will bake it for, we're gonna start with 45 minutes and check on it. It could be anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, depending on your oven and you know how it bakes and stuff. So we're gonna throw in the oven and check on it about 45 minutes. Yeah, it's actually active. Can you try this beer bread? Yeah, try it. Let me know what you think. butter. Yeah. It tastes like bread. Not really a different taste to it. Would you have a sandwich with it? Yeah. That time you can taste the beer a little bit. But it's not bad. Not real overwhelming or overpowering or nothing. Pretty good. You think I should do it again with like cheese or garlic powder or something in the mix? Maybe cheese. Maybe it's cheese. Good. It's good. I like it. The chat approved? Definitely. Rory, you want some? <gasps> I didn't do that. Fell off, I promise. Well, even though we know that he lied about the accidentally dropping a piece of bread for the dog, I know he didn't lie about the review. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, here is, this is my friend Nicole. She also made beer bread. Isn't she beautiful? Uh, anyway, sorry. Yes, we love Nicole. But she also decided to make beer bread and sent me a picture of it. And I think hers looks actually a lot better than mine. So I might have to get with her on her recipe. Uh, thank you to the guys over at Sorted for the inspiration. And also, during this time, don't forget to uh, socially distance yourself and stay home and stay safe.